Dave here from the Caravantastic crew. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all uh, keeping safe and staying well. This is a special one, folks. It's special for me. I am really excited about this vid. Um, got something to uh, share with you. Uh, I feel like, um, I don't think I've felt like this since I was a little boy on Christmas Eve and I'm being genuine. I didn't sleep well last night because I knew what was going to be arriving in the, uh, well, not in the post, but via courier today. And it's here and it's finally arrived and I'm going to reveal it. But before I do, a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel recently. I think we've had about 140 subscribers in the last four weeks, which for me is absolutely brilliant. It took me about a year to get to 140 before, uh, mainly because we were not putting much or, or hardly any content on. And there we are, getting lots of comments, lots of interaction, and we're starting to meet lots of uh, like-minded people, which is brilliant. So thank you. Uh, so why am I feeling so happy and excited? This arrived. I have to share this with you now. I won't tell you what it is. I'll let you see for yourself in a moment. But uh, here we go anyway. But be very careful because you just say handle with care. Mind you, I had some paint delivered uh, yesterday. That said handle with care on it. And uh, actually we've gone for a walk when the courier arrived. When we got back, our doorstep was covered in paint. So uh, just because it says handled with care doesn't mean that they're gonna do. In the main though, we have lots of deliveries. It's like a delivery hub at our house at the moment. In fact, at one point today, there was two delivery wagons backed up to each other delivering stuff, bonkers. But um, actually, it's really convenient to have stuff delivered, isn't it, buying online. You haven't got to go out, you haven't got to use your petrol, you haven't got to mix with people at the moment, which is a, a challenging thing to do. I just hope this is what I'm, <laughs> what I'm expecting, otherwise this video is gonna look a bit daft. Lots of packaging, get rid of the packaging. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Lots of packaging. I'll tell you what, the box is always bigger, like the packaging box is always bigger than the actual product itself. But at least I can get my hands in there and get it out of the box. Quite heavy. Can you see what it is yet? Can you see what it is yet? Can you see what it is now? Oh, yeah. The DJI Mini 2 drone. <laughs> you can't be a YouTube vlogger if you've not got a drone. That's, that's a lie, because you can. There's some brilliant channels out there with who don't use drones. But I'm always impressed, actually. We've, I watch more YouTube now than I do normal television. I can't get into TV much unless it's a, a fabulous uh, movie, a really good movie, or a kind of a good box set or something, or good series, you know. So I watch lots of YouTube, and one thing I've been really impressed with is some of the vloggers that make use of a drone you know there's people use it really well some people don't use it quite so well uh, but i just think it has a whole different dimension to some of the videos you know uh, when you can see things with a view that you could never ever see unless you were a bird or high up in a helicopter or something you know um, so i've always wanted one of these it's not a new thing I've, I've wanted a drone for quite a long time but because of you know, being busy at work and stuff, only just retiring in December, I just felt that the investment wouldn't be, I wouldn't get the return on it because I wouldn't use it as much as I wanted to. And now I'm definitely of the opinion that I would. So this is a DJI Mini 2 drone. Now, if you're into drones, you'll know all about these. You know, I'm not an expert, far, nowhere near an expert. You know, a really new beginner, as it were. Um, but what I do know about these drones is they get fabulous reviews on YouTube. Uh, both across the water and here in the UK. Well wrapped, though, I can't open it. Um, and one of the reasons it gets good reviews, it's very simple to operate, for one. Uh, and also, because of its weight, which is less than 250 grams, um, you don't come unstuck with some of the new drone regulations. You do have to register your drone as a drone operator, you know, which is what I'll be doing later today, going online. And also you can take a test as well, which I'm going to do. You don't, I don't think you have to with this drone, but I'm going to do. Uh, because I want to understand what you can and what you can't do, what's good practice, what's not good practice, and stuff like that. Um, I won't be flying it today, because today is going to be all about doing the stuff that I've just been describing, and also charging up batteries and getting it set up and really doing the prep. Now it comes with a fabulous carry bag. <clears throat> Very nice uh, nylon bag, which you can see here. And, um, you know, I'll be quite proud to have that over my shoulder. Uh, no problem carrying a bag around. Uh, let's have a look inside. It's got on one hand, but on one end of the bag, it's got a little strap so you can 
clutch it, carry it like a, you know, like a bag, like a handbag, I suppose. And then it's got a double zip scenario going on here. I'm all fingers and thumbs because I'm so excited. Oh, okay, you wouldn't even know that zip was there. It's very well concealed. So what's in it? What's in it? I hear you cry. So, well packed. Little um, zip up at the top, and in here you have some accessories, which are essentially um, some spare blades, some spare helicopter blades with screws and stuff here. So I'm assuming that maybe you get through these blades a little bit. Got little orange tips on the end of these blades, by the way, which is nice. So three sets of blades, um, <clears throat> a spare set of, of joysticks for the controller in there. Um, and that, oh, and a little screwdriver in this little bag here. There's a little tiny screwdriver. Uh, that's to uh, just screw those blades on with. Open that later. Uh, what, else, what else have we got? I think this is just a little box of destructions. I know this because I've watched many a video <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, I didn't want to damage it, but it's hard to open it without. I mean, it's just a little box of instructions, so not the end of the world. So I'll have a good read through these later. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> not, not a lot to it in terms of instructions. That would suggest that it's pretty intuitive. But also what I do know is there's an app that you download on your phone which connects up to the, the drone which gives you a lot of uh, tips and instructions on how to fly guides and videos and stuff on there so not not much in here to read but I will have a look at that a little later on uh, also what you have here uh, is your charging kit so you have a battery pack now I've gone for the combo here, the I think it's called Fly More Combo, and uh, it's a little bit more money, but what you get with the Fly More Combo are these extra accessories, but also you get three batteries. So there's two batteries in the battery compartments here, like, and one battery that's already in the drone. Uh, so each battery will give you around, there's the batteries, each battery will give you uh, around 30, they say 31 minutes flying time. That depends on the conditions and what flying mode you're in, whether you're flying fast or slow or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so to have three batteries fully charged means you can have a good afternoon out flying. Some leads for connection. More about those perhaps in a, in a future video. Um, these are the USB leads which connect up to the charger. So you've got a plug here <clears throat> as well, a charging plug three pin my our american friends and i know we've got a few american friends now uh yours will be a two pin american style usb and then into the charging unit this charging unit will also charge your phone it's got some connections on the side so as you're out and about if your phone's getting a bit low you can just plug your phone into the side of this and it will charge your phone as well <clears throat> some more leads uh, and that's that box i know you're dying to see the drone <laughs> i know you are let's have a look at the actual controller God, I'm so pleased, so happy today. It's unbelievable. Yeah, everyone raves about this controller. I can see why now. Nice size, really nice grips on the back. So when you're gripping that, they're sort of rubberized grips on the back. So you're not gonna drop that, I don't think you have a nice grip. Uh, and then on the front here and here are the, uh, the joysticks. They just slide out and then they screw in. There we go. There's a spare set of those. So you get two joysticks and they just come out of those compartments at the front, look, and then screw into the top. And then there you go. Uh, I won't go into how it works because I actually never tried it. I don't know how it works. I do know though that when you pull this bit out, this acts as both an antenna and also a, somewhere to um, just drop the phone in. So you drop your phone into here and then there's a further lead at the back if I can just, I can't get to it. Some more fingers and thumbs through excitement. Yeah, further lead at the back, which now, like a lightning lead, which plugs into your phone. And then the DJI app on your phone is what you will look at to fly um, the drone. You'll see what the drone sees essentially as you're flying around. So that's the controller. More on that in a future video, definitely. Really good. Which only leaves one thing in here, which is the drone itself. 
which is here. And, you know, people have said it's not much bigger than a mobile phone. I actually think my phone's probably a little bit bigger than that. Not as thick, obviously, but certainly as tall. Covered in stickers. I'll, uh, I'll remove some of those stickers later. Uh, what it does come with is a really handy strap. So you can actually put this in your pocket if you want to. Obviously, I'll carry it about in the bag. But that little strap around there just holds all of the blades in and stuff. And if you unstrap that, then here you've then got the pullouts for each of the the props, the blades, propellers. Oop. So front and back. As I say, I'll go around removing stickers and stuff later. There's a gimbal here, and this is a gimbal guard. You can remove the gimbal guard. Well, you need to remove the gimbal guard because the camera won't work if you don't. <clears throat> and then you're away. Uh, I'm so impressed, it's unbelievable. I don't know what else to say at this stage because I don't know much about the, the drone. I think I'll do a video in the future about flying. I know it's got light on the front, right on the very front there between those two sensors, there's a light. Um, and I know you can attach to this, if you want to fly at night, you can uh, attach a strobe light on top. What you've just got to be careful with is adding any extra weight because you can put accessories on this like landing gear as well. Don't think I'd be doing that. But um, anything that you put onto the drone adds to the weight. And the minute you go over 250 grams, then you're into a completely different classification in terms of what you can and can't do and what you're permitted to do you know, without, um, without licenses and stuff. So as this stands currently, uh, I'm not going to go into any of the regs. I don't pretend to know them fully. But as this stands, I'm almost ready to fly. I just need to get online now with the CAA uh, and register myself as the flyer of this drone and I believe and it was Smithy and his Contiki that told me that once you've got a registration number you have to attach that somewhere to the drone stick it on on the top underneath somewhere where it can be seen quite easily so that is why I'm a happy chappy today and I think this is going to add uh, at some point in the future anyway a different dimension to the sorts of videos we do because what we want to do a lot of in the main is going out visiting the sites and showing you a bit about the area that we're in when we're in the caravan, uh, this drone will allow us to, to do that. I'll probably, uh, on my walks down to our local beach, I'll probably give it its first fly somewhere down there, away from people. Uh, so, if you have been watching, thank you for tuning in. If you've made it this far, that's great. If you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Uh, click the bell button as well for a notification of when we're bringing out new videos, which are pretty regularly at the moment. And if you enjoyed this little vid, give us a thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Take care.